10 o'clock in the morning. This side sun, this side storm. Hello YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. I got the tool here. I have not been able to find too many videos to show how to take off an alternator on a 1999 Lincoln Navigator. It's not the first time I've taken an alternator off, but I got the tool to loosen the belt now. I'm not really motivated to do this today, but I want to take it off, take it down to AutoZone and have it tested. And I don't want to have to take off too much stuff. So, let's get started here before it starts raining. Oh, why is it supposed to rain today? We'll see. I saw a video though that says if you want to use a bungee cord or a string to hold that belt up to keep it from falling is a good idea. So I think I'm going to do that first. I'll take, disconnect the battery first before I do anything. And I got the belt off. That's really tough, man. Trying to use this, I had to get a, a bar and put it on here and extend it so I was able to do it myself. That little string rope bungee cord trick works. It holds the belt up and in a line so it doesn't drop down. Now I gotta try to figure out how to get it off. You see, I got a bolt down there, a bolt here, and looks like I got some bolts over there on that side. Yeah, two bolts. I've never taken one off of a Lincoln Navy. I've taken many alternators off of my life. I got some uh, bolts there, but I don't know which ones that are necessary to take off. I don't know if I got to take off all three, or just that one. Or I'll start with these little ones first. Okay, got those two bolts out, and I got this bolt out on this side, and the other one broken loose. And it's starting to sprinkle. Muggy out right now. I think I got all the bolts out, but I haven't tried to see if I could pull it out yet. But, uh, wish me luck. I just grabbed it and it fell forward. Now I gotta take off this little bolt and take those connectors out and then figure out if it's gonna pull out. So far, it's been pretty easy. It's raining. I'm glad I have a carport. I told my wife the next house we buy, we just gotta have a garage. Alright, so I got that one bolt off. Now I need to get those those plugs off. They're being a pain in the ass to get off. Uh, so I'm gonna figure out how to get them off now. These little connectors is what I'm talking about. Those two. And they should come out. All right, I got them clips off. Those were the hardest things so far to do to get this alternator off. And I think I'm going to have to remove this bracket here that holds the radiator. Because it has to come out this way. And this is blocking it. So, get onto that. All right, got that bracket off. And got the alternator out. There you go. That's the alternator. It was pretty easy, not hard. I think this is what's bad though. Voltage regulator. I don't think I have a tool for those. Take that out. Let's see. Okay, I'm actually shocked I did have the tool. It's starting to rain harder. Took all the bolts out. I've never taken one of these off before, so I'm going to film this as I take it off, see what happens. I don't know if this is bad or if this is good. grooves in there so anyways I'll put this back in and because the bearings don't seem bad it spins easy no no noises or anything I think maybe it's just this voltage radiator is bad maybe I can just put a new one in because I don't know what a bad one looks like but I'm gonna go have it tested at AutoZone put this thing back together How hard it is to put this thing back in. Well, pretty easy. I'll put the screws back in and run this to alternate, uh, 
I was on test it out. So I'm on my way into town to go test that uh, alternator. The funny thing is I called O'Reilly's. They want $239 for a one year warranty alternator. And I asked if they got remanufactured. They said, yeah, $153 for remanufactured. And then I said, well, AutoZone has it for $115. He said, well, go to AutoZone. What is going on with the world today that nobody has customer service anymore? Crazy. The guy didn't even want to say, oh, we'll price match or anything. He just said, go to AutoZone and hung up on me. And I just thought that was kind of ridiculous. I, I've never shopped at O'Reilly's, but after this conversation with this guy on the phone, I will never go to O'Reilly's, that's for sure. It's one, one excellent way to lose customers. So, uh, it was an easy job getting taking it out for I, someone who's never taken an alternator out of a Lincoln Navigator. It took me about 20 minutes. Would have been faster if I knew exactly what, but what I had to take off. Then I only got bit like five times by mosquitoes, so that's not too bad. So I'm going to go to town, and uh, even when I called AutoZone, they told me uh, 219, and uh, but they didn't uh, bother to tell me about the remanufacturer one that's cheaper that's on their website. And uh, I, I don't know what's going on with people now. They, why do they always have to offer the most expensive one to you first? You know, I, I'm not going to buy a lifetime warranty battery or alternate or any kind of part because I never keep anything for a lifetime. Uh, like I said before, this is the SUV I've had for three years and it's the longest I've ever owned a vehicle. So I'm going to get the cheapest whatever. Maybe I can just get the voltage regulator and that'll be fine because I don't know what a new voltage regulator looks like. But uh, we'll see when I get to AutoZone. I'll ask them for one so I can look at them. Because now I know what mine looks like. I'll, I'll be able to see what a new one looks like. And we'll see just how honest the parts person guy is. You know, I'm going to ask him, well, can I just replace the voltage regulator and use that same alternator? And we'll see what he says. And uh, honesty. Not too much honesty out there anymore. You're out of zone. Let's go inside and get this tested. So I have to leave this AutoZone because the guy doesn't want to sell me the cheapest alternator because I don't know when my my freaking Lincoln Navigator was built. I told him, dude, 1999, it's a 5.4 V8 two-wheel drive. That's all I know. And he's like, well, it has two different alternators here. And we looked at the pictures, and they look identical. They look identical. One is uh, $239, and one is $114. The one is $114 he has in stock, and the other one he doesn't have in stock. He tested my alternator, it failed. I asked him, well, let's look at the uh, voltage regulators, because see if they're cheaper. Yep, definitely they're cheaper. Way cheaper. They're like, the alternator is $114. Fifteen dollars. The voltage regulator is like uh, forty-nine or fifty-nine, something like that. I don't remember exactly. And uh, he's like, "Still, I can't sell you the voltage regulator because I don't know if it's going to the right alternator." I'm like, "Can you get one off the shelf and we can match it up?" And he's like, it, 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 "He just wanted to sell me the most expensive one." So now I'm going to a different AutoZone because this guy he, he told me to be honest with you I really don't know much about alternators I could tell that by the way he was trying to hook up the alternator to have it tested and uh, his piss poor attitude like he doesn't want to be at work today is really uh, irritating me really really bad so I, I'm going to have to go another I don't know five or six miles to a different auto zone because this knucklehead does not want to sell me that $114 $115 alternator and it, it's I've never I've never run into this in my entire life ever. I've never I've never gone into a AutoZone and say, okay, I need a for a 1970 Chevy truck, V8 four barrel. Boom, they give me the, the freaking alternator. I've never been asked, well, what part of the year was it? The beginning part of the year was it built in the middle part of the year? Was it built at the? What difference does it make? I've never been asked that. That's the craziest thing I've ever been asked, ever. I don't know, has anybody else been asked that? Does it really make that big of a difference? I don't think so.
I think he was just trying to sell me the most expensive alternator and they didn't have it in stock. That's what I think. Rain again. They're building the overpass over here. There used to be a Waffle House on this side. It's gone now. They've started construction for that overpass. So, heading to the other freaking auto zone. Raining on the Santa, Santa Catalina Mountains. I don't know what it is. Like, I used to love to work on cars. I mean, I, I flip cars for a living. I buy cars, fix them up, sell them. And uh, even though I'm not a certified mechanic, I, I can work on cars. You know, I'm pretty good at diagnosing. You know, never been taught by anybody self-taught. And uh, it, yeah, it's just, it, I've never been asked what part of the year of a car, yeah, that's just, that is making me crazy that this guy, I mean, this guy clearly does not want to work today at his job, and he refused, I've never had, I told him, dude, this is my money, let me spend my money on whatever I want to spend it on, he's like, no, I'm sorry, I can't, I can't, I can't, and the, even the other guy that was working on the counter was looking at him and looking at us, arguing, and it's, man, it, it, I, if I didn't experience myself, I wouldn't even believe it. I just said, you know what, grab my alternator and said, you know what, I'll just go to some place else because it's quite clear that you, you don't want to work and you don't want to sell me something. It's quite clear. And then he just like, whatever dude, was the last thing he said to me is like, I don't, where are these people coming from? Their attitudes. If you, if, I don't get it. If you're going to work in, a, in a, a job or a business where you have to deal with customers, and you don't like dealing with customers? Get a different job. Why? Why do you gotta irritate people, man? I just don't. I just don't get it. Don't get it at all. I, I, I'm just gonna go to another auto zone. This is the one I usually normally go to over here, and uh, I should just went here first. It just it just cracks me up. The freak, freaking people out there, man. It just I don't know. I just go to this one that I usually go to all the time because they're pretty knowledgeable over there. Second auto zone. Second test. So I'm here and I got two guys here that don't know how to test this alternator. This is cracking me up. This is really, really cracking me up. I got the $114 alternator after all. I should have just came to this uh, AutoZone to begin with. The two new guys in there that were trying to help me at the beginning, the older guy, this is his first day, the other skinny guy who didn't know anything about testing an alternator. It's his first week and uh, <laughs> finally we got the guy that I usually deal with, Nicholas. He's a really cool guy, really smart and intelligent. Knows a lot about cars. He did a lot of stuff for him before I bought this alternator. I told him the story of what happened in this other uh, auto zone up there. It's about six and a half miles away from here. Uh, the only reason I went there because it's closer to my house than this one. But I usually only come to this one, which I will do from now on. Uh, this Nicholas guy is a really cool guy. He tested it three times. It failed. And then he says, might be the voltage regulator. So I said, you know what? Uh, how much is it? And he told me it's $59.99. He said, tell you what, man, you want to put it in and uh, you do all the work. You take off the old one, put the new one in, we'll test it out and see if, it's, if it works, if it passes or not. I said, that sounds like a plan. So it took longer. It's what, it's 1 o'clock now? I, I was in there for like an hour. It took longer, oh, Popo, to get it tested again after we got the voltage regulator in, but it still failed. So he says it's something internally wrong with the alternator so you're gonna have to get a new alternator so I said alright thanks man for all your help uh, I got the alternator I told him the story how the guy up there said that you have to know what part of the year beginning middle end and he's like that's the craziest thing he's ever heard he's never heard of that all you need is a year make model engine size that's all you need and uh, I said well the guy acted like he didn't want to work, he didn't want to do his job, and he refused to sell me the same alternator that I have right now. The exact same alternator. He's like, I don't know why he would say that to you. Um, I don't know. He has no answer why, I don't have an answer why, but uh, here we are, 
one, almost one o'clock, I got the alternator that I was going to buy from the very beginning. I just wanted to test it, and make sure before I bought it if I could either buy the voltage regular or buy the alternator. Now I know I had to buy an alternator, so I got the alternator now on my way back home to uh, put it all back together. Man, this has been a headache. I've never had this much problem with an alternator before. It took more time to come to town, test it, figure out what's wrong with it, and buy the alternator than it did to take the alternator out of my truck. Oh man, I gotta get gas. Hey, finally got on with the new alternator. It's not raining anymore. Time to put it all back together. Hopefully it goes in as easy as it came out. Turning into a big ordeal today. Okay, I just got through eating my lunch too. I was shaking. I haven't eaten since 8 o'clock this morning. It's already 2 o'clock now. This taro stuff is delicious. Okay, so for the next person who's thinking about putting an alternator in a 99 Lincoln Navigator, make sure you hook up the wires first before you put it back in because it's impossible to get to it with all this crap in the way. I had put the bolts in and realized that I need to put the wiring back on. So now I'm going to took the bolts out and I'm going to move it to where I can get the wires back on. This is just a wolf for what's up for the next person who might watch this. The alternator's in, brackets on, batteries connected. Just a piece of advice, and, you, and somebody else might try this, you put this bolt back in before you put any bolt in. You don't even need to take this bolt out, as a matter of fact, don't even worry about taking this bolt out. All you need to do is take this bolt out, the two bolts on the bottom, disconnect the connectors, and then it'll come out on this bracket. Don't even waste your time. It took me a half an hour just to get this stupid bolt lined up. I had to take everything off and just to get that bolt to line up. And then I still didn't want to go in. So now all I got to do is start it now. It's all done. Where's my keys? Okay, moment of truth. Battery lights out. Oops. Fixed. Hey, okay. no more battery light. So now all I gotta do is reset my clock, reset my radio stations, and it's all good to go. All right, that's how you put an alternator in a 1999 Lincoln Navigator. Got my clock set, radio station set, AC running. Now it's time to go take it for a test drive. Battery light is out. Truck starts up fine. Feels like it's got even more power. But uh, that's it. That's how you do it. This job is done. This vlog is done. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Don't cause nothing is free. And I'm going to get going.